Hey guys, Nick Davis, Psychotherapy, Hypnotherapy, NLP and Life Coaching. So be careful what you focus on. So I'm going to tell you a story. So I haven't got a friend called John and he doesn't live at number 20 on that road that you know. And what didn't happen the other day was the police weren't called and they didn't turn up at his house and didn't arrest him for having a quantity of drugs. Also, when the police didn't walk into his house, they didn't describe that a scene of Beyonce and Jay-Z weren't sitting on his sofa. So because this didn't happen, you can imagine the surprise by all uh, that were there. Now, what didn't happen is he received a custodial sentence. Sorry, he didn't receive a custodial sentence of 20 years. And he's now not banged up in prison um, as a drug dealer. So think about the story and it was even <laughs> difficult for me to say. So there's a real message behind this story. So I'm going to guess in your mind, you have a story of somebody called John who lives at number 20, who has some drugs and was with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Now, the fact is I didn't say any of those things, you know. So if we were in a court of law, the court would say that I didn't say any of those things. In fact, I negated that none of those things happen. However, your brain has created a story that all of those things have happened inside your brain. It's pieced together um, a small story. So why is that? So what the brain does is it focuses on the, the details of what you say rather than... Um, so, you know, for example, we're in the neuro-linguistic programming. One of the things that we say is don't think of a blue bus. Whatever you do, don't think of a blue bus. Don't think of a blue bus. What normally happens is people create a blue bus in their mind when I've told them specifically not to think of a blue bus. So the importance of this is when you're thinking about things, generally when people are not doing well in life, is they're setting goals like saying, I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to eat chocolate. I don't want to be in a bad relationship. I don't want to be stressed by my partner and my kids all the time. So what happens is the brain, brain creates all of these scenarios and then tries to undo them. So it's almost double handling. It's creating the things that you don't want and then trying to create behaviours to undo those. Whereas it's far more easy and more efficient to say what you do want. So you would change that around by saying... I want to be slim or being more specific. You know, I want to feel, you know, I find I don't do, you know, smart goals don't work for me. Smart goals are where something is specific, measurable, um, achievable, realistic and time framed. Uh, they don't work for me uh, because my mind is very creative, very visual, very emotional. So what I tend to find is if I want to lose weight, I'll say things like I want to feel better wearing that pair of trousers. I want to feel better wearing that T-shirt. Um, I want to feel lighter, I want to be able to go boxing training and feel great, I want to be able to um, go weight training and feel strong. So it's about creating the things you want and how that's going to make you feel. You know, use all your senses, what you see, hear, feel, smell and taste. The more rich you can make those experiences, the more likely your brain is going to move you towards the things that you want rather than away from the things that you don't want. So. The, the, the story that I told you at the beginning is a really great example of how the brain works and how you might be programming your brain every single minute of every day of weeks and years. So I know so many people that just negative things spill around, spill out their mouth consistently. And they're talking about, you know, why their business isn't doing well, why they haven't achieved their goals and things like that. Um, so when I'm, you know, specific about what I want to achieve, I make big pictures. In fact, I do vision boards and things like that. What I wanted to um, get in the media. One of the reasons I was so successful, I set out a, a, a wish list or a, a dream board of all the different newspapers. I wanted to be in like the Times, the Telegraph, the Sun, Men's Health, Cosmopolitan and all those things. And I achieved all of those, you know, being on TV, being on ITV, uh, being on the radio loads of times, um, being interviewed for different things. And, and now the newspapers contact me direct, you know, I write a regular uh, body language for the Express, which I'm really grateful for. I did body language for the Sun as well. Got a really nice piece in the Sun about my Lima protocol as well. So, and I did that by putting pictures up and then programming my brain by looking at the pictures, saying what I wanted to achieve all the time. And it actually programs part of your brain called the RAS, the reticular activating system, which will actually 
unconsciously make you make decisions and make you behave in a way that will draw you towards those things. So if you're programming your RAS with negative things, like poor old John who lives in number 20, who's got loads of drugs and with um, um, Jay-Z and uh, Beyonce, <laughs> you know you're going to create those outcomes so hope you enjoyed the video it's just a bit of light-hearted uh, fun to hopefully help you understand these things a little bit better if you enjoyed the video and you think it will benefit somebody else please uh, share it with them but also please like and subscribe uh, i've got loads more cool stuff to share with you take care have a great day and stay safe